guys, before getting into the video, I just want to say a massive thank you to Star Stable for sponsoring today's video, and I'm here to tell you a bit about their gameplay. So, Star Stable is an online computer game which you can download and immediately start playing. Star Stable is a unique multiplayer game filled with horses, friendships and adventures. And even better, you can play the game up to level 5 for free, which gives you plenty of time to explore. Once you head over to the website, you are free to customise your character and your horse to however you want. And you can also change your horse's name and your character's name. Star Stable is in fact a game that I used to play when I was younger and I used to spend hours and hours and hours on this game. Um, so I'm very lucky to still actually be able to access my account that I used to have when I was a kid. Um, and I will show you all the gameplay. Whilst exploring the magical island of Jorvik on horseback, each player becomes part of a captivating storyline where you complete quests and level up your players. So once you've watched me play the gameplay, um, don't forget to go down to the link in my bio, click it and start playing the game immediately. So once you've downloaded Star Stables and made your account, you will end up in Moreland Stables when you first log onto the game. This is where everybody starts and you complete quests to level up and get access to more of the map. Here you can see all of my character stats. My name on this game is Amelia Birchborn and I'm level 19. So you can gather how much time I used to spend on this as a kid. This is the Wild Bobcats race. It's probably one of the first races you'll do on the game. You do races to increase your horse's XP, which then levels them up and makes them faster. Keep all your game as and lost, as and lost. So here I am showing you all how to look after your horse. You can pick their hooves out, you can feed them, water them, groom them and show them some love all by clicking E on your keyboard or by clicking your horse's head. As part of the game, everybody has their own stable that they can store all of their horses in. Here is me going into mine. And as you can see, I was a bit of a horse hoarder. I have so many horses. You get a wash bay, you get a little tack room for your player, and you get a wardrobe. As part of the game, of course, I had to get a horse and name it Diane. I couldn't name it Diane, so I called it Dark Diamond, but it is aka Diane. Here's me tacking Diane up, and I'm going to go and take her around one of my favourite races on the game. I also found this really, really funny. Whilst I was tacking up Diane in my star stables, Diane literally came to the window of where I was filming the video. Hi guys. So today's video is going to be like a pamper video. So I'm going to show you around the stable. I'm going to show you around the horse and the stable. Because we've got academy teams tomorrow and we need to fat up. I need to clip her. I've just started and then I remembered that I was going to film it. So I've stopped. I've only done this like little bit here. Um, so yeah, I need to pat Dora, and I need to clip Dora. I need to obviously wash her legs. I'm not gonna clip her legs, but I need to wash them all and everything. Then I need to ride her, and then I just need to um, ride Diane, and I need to pat Diane as well, and wash her socks and everything. So it's kind of a bit like a wash day slash prep for a show with me kind of vlog. Um, but anyway, I will time lapse me clipping her. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. You pull your game as and lost, as and lost. It's so safe as and lost, as and lost. Keep all your game as and lost, as and lost. 
for your game As and lost, as and lost So say As and lost, as and lost time lapse that she doesn't really like her ears being done um so that's why we got mum out to bribe her with treats but we did your ears as best we could bless her um and now i'm going to go and get my tools question hot oil to put in a bucket of warm water and to hot cloth her down so that she's not itchy from all the hair that's still on her give you a good brush stop it she doesn't she knows that i tell her off when um ah, when she makes a sound on the floor, so she just stop it. So she just kind of waves her leg in the air now. Stop. Um, but she's getting impatient. She's been stuck here for a little bit now. Stop it. Wait, princess, stop. Um, so I'm going to put her back in her stable, and Diane is in because she had her lunch. So I'll get Diane out and I'll wash her and plait her, and then once she's done, I'll put her back in and I'll get you out, her out again. Um, so yeah, just so she can have a bit of hay in her stable and stuff. So yeah, let me go get the hot oil. I've just got a small bucket of warm water. And now I'm going to add catfall. It makes like a really cool like texture thing in the water. Um, just added that to the bucket and then get the sponge and do a little door door. It's so pretty. So I need to ride Diane today and the weather looks like it's about to rain. Okay, it looks more blue on the camera, but it does look... Um, like grey clouds, so I'm going to ride her now. I just need to get her tack out the lorry and everything. And then I'm gonna take her on a hack. And then when I get back, I'll wash her and plait her. And then after I've done her, I will do Dora, wash and plait her. So they're all ready. So yeah, I will time lapse me tacking her up. <laughs> Right, yeah, just attached it and I'm gonna do her legs once I've dried off my phone. Keep all your game as and lost, as and lost. It's all the same as and lost, as and lost. Keep all your game as and lost, as and lost. As and lost, as and lost Diane, it's all done now. 
Ross. She's got her mane plaited. I don't plait her forelock because I think she'd look a bit silly because she's not got much forelock. But all of her mane, if I can reach up there, is all nice and plaited. And now I've just, where well, she was in her stable earlier, she obviously did a few poos. I haven't swept it, but I've just taken the poos out, relayed her bed, given her some more haylage. There is more than you think there. That is like a wedge. It's not like separated apart. But yeah, she's all done. Now I need to get Dora out and I need to wash her legs and plait her. And then we're done. So I do a little before and after, but not a time lapse of her mane. So I've sectioned it all out. Her mane's a bit wild. But I've sectioned everything out, um, and then I'll come back to you when it's all plaited. Dora, right, Dora's all done now. All of her plaits are done. I don't know what to do with this little bit though. I might just try and just, I can't plait it, so I'll just put it in a little ball tomorrow. I will put that neck up in a minute, and then she's got all of her bandages on. <laughs> no tail. No, she's got this and if anybody's wondering because i know that this is around the tailbone this is literally hasn't even got a loop in it it's so loose but it's keeping it up like that so she doesn't poo on it so now i just need to put her in her stable and then tidy up all of this because this is grim it's all your fur and poo and diane's poo so yeah that's the next job and that is the end of the video thank you so much for watching um don't forget, use the link down in my bio. It gives you seven days free Star Rider um, just by using my link um, to sign up to Star Stable. And if enough people are interested and enough people sign up, I will do like a little meet and greet on Star Stable. I'll organise the time and everything over on my Instagram, which is down here. And yeah, let me know. Let me know if you want to play with me. Um, but yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.